shoot the shoot is definitely an episode. It's balls. It's balls. Now you can hear the new sound effect that I just put on my soundboard. You look disappointed. I look disappointed? I think that's just my face. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the podcast. We made it. We made it. We're back. We're back. Took a little bit of... We had a week off. I'll talk about it later. Um, But yeah, uh, we're back, dude. Episode 221, dude. 21. (laughs) 21. Remember that vine? Hey, I wonder how many times I've started an episode of of this podcast being like, remember that vine? (laughs) Move on, man. You know, it's been a while. It's been a fucking long time. How about we, uh, how about we give it up, you know? Um, I am, uh, recording this on Sunday, uh, Father's Day, and, um, because I usually record on Mondays, but I can't record on Monday because I'm, I'm I'm busy all day getting shit ready. Because I am going to VidCon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it'll be interesting. I'm excited. Um, it's gonna be weird, man. The last one I went to was in 2019. I had short hair and no mustache. And, um, what was that? Was it 2019? Yeah, I think I was at like six or 700,000 subs or something. I don't even know. I forget. Um, but yeah, it's going to be weird because I've been, I haven't been there in a while. And when I went in 2019, I was like, fuck, I feel old as hell. I was like the oldest one there in 2019. And that was... Four years ago, so uh, gonna feel weird, man. But who fucking cares? I'm gonna go get hammered with my friends and hang out. It's gonna be awesome, and I'm 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 excited. Uh, fucking oh, dude! Before we get well, first off, shout out to the Patreon, man. Patreon.com slash very really good. You guys are fucking awesome. I uh, appreciate the support these last few months. It's been. Patreon's been popping off, dude. It's been a, it, it, we've been crushing it over there, dude. And uh, I'm recording a bonus episode after this episode. So um, if you're finished this episode and you're like, dang, I still have like a whole work day. I, I need more Kurt. You know, I, I usually listen to this when I'm at work. You know, I need a whole. I need I need some more Kurt. I need some more VRG to get through this shitty fucking shit. Uh, head over to the Patreon, man. We got a brand new bonus episode along with like 40 other bonus ones. Um. We got some good topics for that one because I got a lot to go through on this episode that we might not get to. So bonus one's going to be all the the fun shit. Um, oh, cool. My fucking internet stopped working. I should just get Wi-Fi here, but I am lazy. So I got a fucking... fucking uh, I'm on my fucking hotspot on my phone, dude. You know what? Whatever. I'm not on either right now. But, dude, <clears throat> so shout out Patreon. Um, y'all are the goat for real. Um, and one more thing before we get into the topics, the topical things. Um, your boy friggin' got in Variety magazine. Yeah, you know, Variety, you know. That huge publication that's, like, iconic, you know? I got in the coveted 10 comics to watch for 2023, dude. Now that I'll take an applause for. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I got friggin' 10 comics to watch. That's a new, uh... It's a new sound effect I just added today because I've been wanting it for a while, you know? So anytime I can be like, um, <clears throat> you know, if I'm like, you know, I got, um, I just, and I uploaded a main channel video and it did really well. It was the best one I ever did. It was a, it was a one of 10. See ya, you know? Or if I'm like, I'm on 10 comics to watch and now, um, 
where I'm going to be on a panel for 10 comics to watch. And then I'm going to be on, uh, I'm going to be in the, in variety magazine. I, I hope maybe, I don't know. And then, <laughs> and, uh, Oh, that's me buying the magazine if I'm in it. And then, uh, and then, Oh, what I'm doing. I'm going to be in a, a show. I'm going to be in a variety showcase for 10 comics to watch in Montreal during just for laughs. See ya. That's me spending uh, money to, to go there, to go to Montreal. But, um, Am I friggin' I got the footage back from I dude, I can go all day. I got the footage back for my my comedy special and it looks amazing. And they're gonna start editing it and then I'm gonna put it out hopefully soon. That's me spending money and paying the editors and the and the cameraman. It's not always me getting money, okay? Most of the time it's me spending money. But um hey man, why isn't my personal hotspot working? I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Because, you know, just work because it was working. Why does shit stop working when it was working? You know what I mean? Ah, yeah, Wi-Fi doesn't work right now. Sorry. Something happened. What happened? I was watching... I was watching a documentary about Arnold Schwarzenegger, okay? And it was fine for three episodes. And then what? Are you working now? Are you con- are you fucking connected or what, dude? Thank you. Um, I also got another. I added another sound to the soundboard. Okay, but I'm gonna. I'm not gonna play it just yet. I'm gonna wait till the the, the correct moment arises, and it will. So just stay tuned. Um, but yeah, dude. Uh, fuck. <clears throat> it's been a. We'll get to it later, man. All fucking fuck that. Shout out Tim Hortons, though. T- coffee tastes a little burnt today, all right? And it was hot as hell. They handed it to me, and it took every ounce of my body not to be like, ah! I had a, I had a grin and bear it, you know? I was like, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Oh, ow, 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 wow, wow. I'm, I meant to say, wow. I can't wait to drink this coffee. But I said, ow. Uh, but, you know, man, we're chilling. Um, fucking dude, it's been, (sighs) I don't even know what to talk about first, dude. There's been a lot. Uh, okay. Let's get into these fucking topics, dude. But no, shout out guys who have the same haircut and facial hair as me, Uh. AKA Australia. Um, all right. So Okay, what are we, what are we at right now? I'm trying to I'm trying to see where. Okay, twelve minutes already. What have I talked about? <laughs> the time flies when you're a fucking douchebag. You know what I mean? Oh, well, time flies when you're a bag of douche. All right, we could talk about um. Nah, that's weird. I was gonna talk about this Colleen Ballinger shit, but I feel like you can already find so many. Uh, things about her. Uh, you know what? Let's fuck it. Well, I'll talk about it because I do have a point that I want to make. Um, believe it or not, I do have a point this time. <laughs> Instead of like reading an article and being like, "What? The, what the heck?" Anyways, for sound, you know, <clears throat> I'm self aware, and that makes it okay. YouTube star, okay, if you guys didn't know, maybe some of you don't know. Um, There's this YouTuber, her name is Colleen, and um, I bet she's fucking Colleen, her therapist, a lot for the last few weeks. I bet she's Colleen them a lot, like Colleen, Colleen, because she's been going through quite some shit, all right? YouTube star Colleen Ballinger, a.k.a. Miranda Sings, Accused of inappropriate behavior towards younger fans. Shocker! Another fucking OG YouTuber being weird. Oh, so weird. Shane Dawson. Colleen Ballinger. There's gotta be more. There is. I know there is, but I'm just, uh, you know. Uh, okay. So... 
let's let's get to this shit. Okay. Um. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. I'll do a quick uh, run through. In 2020, Adam McIntyre, a former fan and unpaid social media intern of Ballinger, uploaded a dude unpaid. You know, pay them. You're a you're a YouTuber with millions of subscribers, dude. You don't need to have an unpaid intern. That's fucked. Uh, so they uploaded a YouTube video titled Calling Ballinger Stop Lying. In it, he included a clip from a 2016 live stream where Ballinger opened a box of brand new clothes from Forever 21 and gave away the items she didn't want to fans. That's so nice. McIntyre received a pair of panties from her. He was a teenager at the time. Ugh. Ballinger offered an apology for that incident at the time, saying that while context is everything and the underwear was unworn, I should have realized and recognized how dumb that was and never... Yeah, dude! Sending underwear to a child. When was that? When would that ever be chill, you know? Um, okay, so he went on to... Uh, okay, so that, that, that video only went from further bullying by him, to him, from... Miranda Singh's fans, of course, because the fans are probably like, they're all fucking 10 years old. They're like, yeah, it's funny. It's underpants. It's the funniest thing in the world because we're 10 years old. Uh, Okay. So, and, and then apparently, this is the other shit that's been coming out. Miranda Singh's calling Ballinger or the fuck. Uh, I don't know if, if this was her in character doing it, but that would be wild. If she was like, I never did this weird shit. This was Miranda this, that, that wasn't Colleen who did it. That was Miranda, like a Slim Shady type thing. Um. So, yeah, she would send, like, weird messages in, like, fan group chats, apparently. Uh, I thought, like, example, here's one. Example, I thought I shit myself because the blood was so dark in my underwear. Gross. Um, this, he also said the weenies group chat consisting of mostly 13 to 17 year olds. I was a part of with Colleen. I'll had an inside joke. Colleen started to do with periods or some shit. And she sent us this video. And all of us had to go out and buy tampons and reenact it for the group chat. Yo, what the fuck, dude? Ah, ew! For those listening on Spotify and not seeing the video, you're fucking lucky. But this video is of Colleen, uh, fucking squirt, not squirting. What's the word? Ejecting a fucking tampon into her mouth, and she wanted kids to do the same. Yo, that's so fucking weird, dude. Ew! What the hell? Uh. So yeah, that's the fucking rundown. Weirdo fucking s- weird. But dude, this is what I want to say, dude. Miranda Sings was fucking never funny. Okay? Ev- like ever. And I was I was never in the age demographic. I get it. But yo, dude, Miranda Sings, I've never fucking laughed at a video of, of theirs. Ne- like, ever. Not even, like, smirked. I didn't, I've never, I never got it. I don't fucking, I didn't get it. She made a funny voice, and she had, like, crazy makeup. Oh. Wait. Hold on, what? <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. <laughs> dude, you, hold on. Are you telling me? Are you telling me that, um... Someone has a, a crazy voice and has bad makeup? <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Uh, I never fucking got it, dude. I never understood it. And I feel, now I feel comfortable saying that, okay? And I also have this weird thing where I, when I see other YouTubers uh, doing live shows, Especially YouTubers I already like don't really like like in my head. I'm like, what the fuck are you gonna do? Right? It's me being some like some fucking 
<laughs> Some fucking bitter old man being like, well, I do stand up. <laughs> okay. And that's like hard. All right. And I've been doing it for a long time. All right. I was doing it longer than videos. Okay. So I think I know I get, I get so weird in my head about that, but it's like fucking who cares, you know? Um, I think that's just a personal thing I got to work on. But, but when I saw that, like Miranda sings and like Colleen Ballinger was doing these fucking huge, like venues, I was like, what the fuck is she doing? What does she do? And then I would watch videos of it and dude, she would do like TikTok dance mashups on stage. Bye. Bye, dude. Fuck that. I get it if you're like, I don't know, a teenager and you don't have anything to say yet. You don't have any like point of view or like stories or like anything like that. But she's like, what? How old is she? Like, She's like 30? She's in her 30s. Be like, yeah, I'm going to do a TikTok dance <laughs> fucking uh, a TikTok dance party live for a bunch of kids. You're weird. That's hack. That's fucking lame. Um, and she, I, I always thought she was a fucking weirdo. Okay. And that's it. I didn't get it. And I thought she was a weirdo. So fucking big surprise that the weirdo turned out to be a fucking weirdo. You know what I mean? Um, but just like Shane Dawson and other fucking, uh, YouTubers like that, that go through that shit, uh, get, they're going to lay low for like a year and then start popping up in their significant other's vlogs and then start making a fucking podcast or some bullshit. Um, cause that's the circle of life, man. That's what that Lion Kong, Lion, Lion Kong. Okay. That's what that Lion King song is about. It's the circle of life. YouTubers are cringe. They message little guys and also girls. But not me and my friends. We're all pretty normal. (laughs) Okay. Al, fuck other YouTubers, man. Everyone's got to f- stop uploading. Only me and my friends should be uploading videos from now on. Okay? How about that? How about that, other YouTubers? Okay? That's what I want. I'm going to make a... I'm going to start a rival uh, company to you, a YouTube rival, but it's only uh, me and my friends uploading. <laughs> Good luck with that, YouTube. I start my own VidCon. It's going to be called VidConner, and it's going to be awesome. It's nice to be appreciated. Why did Siri just say that to me? Did I ever say that? Did I say Siri? Did I say that? At what part did I say anything that re- that would resemble me uh, asking for Siri's opinion? I hope that picked up on on the mic because that was fucking really weird. Did Siri just become sentient? And she that was her saying that she doesn't get appreciated enough. If you guys didn't hear that, that was her saying it's nice to be appreciated. Siri just popped out of nowhere and said it's nice to be appreciated. Hey, Siri. Are you sentient? Um, I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? Do it fart. I guess that crossed the line. <laughs> Didn't want to answer that. Um, it's embarrassing. <laughs> just got fucking. Uh, I just got ghosted by Siri, dude. Um. Oh, dude, I forgot to use my new sound effect. Okay, okay. Final thoughts on Colleen Ballinger and Miranda sings. <laughs> fucking weirdo. Bro, like, even in a, a a group chat of consenting weirdos, doing a video of you shoving a tampon in your mouth, being like, and, and you guys got to do the same. Everyone else be like, yo, what the fuck? Consenting adult weirdos would still be like, hey, yo, what? Nah. I'm not going to do that. And, I've, and I have shit in my mouth as I'm saying this, and I'm not going to do that. 
There's a guy peeing on my back, and I have hot candle wax in my eyes, and I'm still not going to do that. That's too far. That's fucking weird. Um, I'm not trying to kink shame here, but um, sometimes it just happens. Uh, okay, should we... Um, let's move on, dude. This is going to be a rough episode, dude. <laughs> Okay, so someone tagged me in uh, in this Twitter thread. Um, this is one of my favorite. This is my like one of my favorite genres of uh, content on the internet. Um, it's when like guys send crazy messages, um, through like a, a dating app or something, and then uh, to like a girl, and the girl just fucking posts it. I dude, because. If you're like being a crazy douchebag on the internet as a guy, I feel like you it's fair game. It's fair game to fucking put you on blast, you know? So let's uh let's read this one. Uh this is the tweet caption. I'm so fucking angry right now. Stop finding women you see on dating apps on their personal social media profiles, especially if you haven't connected and there are zero identifiers in their profiles. I got these and let my curiosity get the better of me. Videos in replies and their voice messages, and I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. Uh, the first picture. Um, Kelsey. I probably went to fucking school, this guy. Kelsey. I mean, uh, oh, dude. Wow, dude. I can't fucking even, I can't even read this. He, it's like, it's reading like a, how an anime uh, person would fucking type. Uh, er, how do I say this? You're really pretty. <laughs> I'll I'll probably read it like that. Kelsey, I mean, uh, okay, shit. Mayhaps that was a tad overly enthusiastic for a stranger danger message on a sunny Friday morning. My bad. Let's go with, uh, I can explain? Fuck yeah. That works. Dude, those were f- Five separate messages, man. <laughs> you psycho. And this person says, sorry, do I know you? And this guy says, oh, hey. No, we don't know each other. Sincere apologies for the subterfuge. Like, hey, man. Don't use that word, obviously. Subterfuge? If someone ever use that, deceit used in order to achieve one's goal. Okay, dude. If someone used the word subterfuge in front of me, I'd have to shove them, I think. If they're like, oh, sorry for that subterfuge, I'd be like, no. Don't say that. Who do you think you are? And who do you think I am? Who the hell do you think you are? I am. Okay. Sincere apology for the subterfuge. If you give me the tiniest bit of room, I'd be happy to explain. I reckon that said explanation will bring laughs and smiles. Dude, he talks... Like a seventh grader. P.S. I'm not trying to rope you into a pyramid scheme to sell fancy Tupperware. Yet, dude. Like, hey, man, get to the point, you know? <laughs> Explain away, she says. And then he says, oh, God. I just spent 60 minutes singing to seniors with a mask on and in a hot room. I'm not sure if I'm funny right now. That took a lot of energy. Dude, nobody asked. <laughs> Sorry, oh my god, I, you want me to explain? Okay, yeah, sorry, I was just uh, serenading the seniors. Yeah, I was actually, uh, I do that for them. I, I don't even get paid, I just go and sing to them. Um, I'll, I'll rub their back sometimes, you know. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll sort of, uh, you know, just give them massages, noogie them, you know. I'll, 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 uh, I'll do their taxes for them, I'll feed them. They don't even know me, they don't know that I work there. I just show up at these uh, retirement homes and I do that. And I'm usually kicked out, yeah. What's such a un- unorganic way to bring that up, too. To be like, yeah, I was singing to seniors with a mask on, too. I'm considerate. And it was in a hot room. I was sweaty. <laughs> okay, and then he says, okay, fuck it. I can do this. Dude, I fucking... I can't. Okay, and, and dude... Okay, here comes hey, the video. Kelsey, how's it going? Don't mind me. I fucking hate texting. I think we're all better without it. So I usually use one of these when I can. 
Um, also, I don't know if you've ever seen that Key and Peel skit, but that's how I feel about texting. I could go on. Anyway, um, I just want you to know. <laughs> oh my god no shot oh my god sorry i gotta turn my camera back on holy shit oh my god dude oh wow that was really funny I don't know if you've seen that one Key and Peel skit about texting. That's how I feel. I could go on. I practically wrote the skit on my own. <laughs> dude. Also, dude, I hate dudes that are like that, dude. Like, I hate texting, man. Let's just talk. You and me. One-on-one. No, let's put the phones down. Let's fucking talk. Let's let's converse, man. Let's like let's talk. Let's be real with each other, man. Let's have a real conversation. Let's put the phone down. I hate it. I don't, yo, f- people who are like, yo, fuck, I hate that shit too. People, people are like, fuck small talk, man. Let's talk about why you're fucking, why you don't have a good relationship with your aunt. And you're like, I, why did I just met you? How about, how about small talk forever? How about that? That's actually my dream world is only having small talk with people for the rest of my life. That's, fu- that's actually perfect. And this is the guy who said that, fuck small talk, dude. No, right off the bat, I fully accept how fucking weird this is. I'm sorry, but like I said, I think if you give me a second, you'll probably end up laughing. And uh, not that you need my permission, but feel free to just laugh directly at me for being a fucking idiot, for I am surely about to embarrass myself right now. I would also make the argument that embarrassing myself on a microphone is a large part of my job, and I'm quite good at it. So uh, here goes nothing. <laughs> and sorry for the delay. I was going to get back to you, but I just someone called about a gig. To- Dude, this guy is cra- crazy. He doesn't know this woman, and he's sending all this stuff. <laughs> More what I'm trying to help him find a musician. Also, I'm not sure if I'm fucking funny anymore. I just spent 60 minutes, like I said, uh, playing guitar. Yeah, run it back, dude. Run it back. Make sure she knows. Maybe she didn't read it. Maybe she didn't understand, dude. I'm singing to a room full of senior citizens, but the room was stuffy and hot. I had to do it with the surgical mask on, and I'm not sure if I have any funny or social energy left, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try and fake it right now. So thank you for your understanding and patience, and uh, here goes nothing. I'm a fucking idiot. Enjoy. Is he going to sing? I swear to God, if he sings a song, I might have to just end the podcast. Please. So, I okay. was minding my own business last week on Ye Old Bumble, everyone's favorite online dating app. Punch me in the fucking face. Don't get- Oh my oh God, he's insufferable, dude. Holy shit. Ye Old. We started online dating, and um, I came across your bio, and I let out a very masculine noise i mean it was not is that a word i don't know it's kind of day i'm having buddy but it was not i honestly i was like this chick's made up my first thought was that my mom paid you to write that bio just to make my day better and i was curious just to like ask you how much but the more i read i was like holy fuck this person's my kind of weird and i just figured i'd say howdy and that if i talk to myself like an asshole for a couple of minutes you'd probably feel the same as me now i'm not going to pretend to know the depths of your soul from a couple cursory sentences and some photos okay so this So let me get this straight. I don't I don't know how Bumble is it like I assume it's like Tinder, right? Like you swipe on people, is that what is that what happens? Or is is Bumble the one where the girl or is that just no. For so long I thought Bumble, I thought Bumble was just for girls. But I think it's the I from my understanding I think Bumble is the one where the girl Mess you the girl has to like message first, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna fact check myself. Bumble girl message first. Uh. Okay, on Bumble, yes, women are required to send the first message after a match. Okay. So I assume this guy like swiped or or liked or swiped, you know, whatever the fuck you whatever you do on Bumble. Um they swiped on him. And uh, the girl didn't swipe back, I guess. So he found her social media and sent 
this. Which is such an L already, dude. Like, even messaging me like, hey, I know you didn't want to talk to me, but hello, I'm here. Hi. I know you specifically said you do not, you are not interested, but think again. You are actually. I decided for you that you are interested. But uh, I am a very good judge of character. I'm a keen study of, like, personality and psychology. And, uh, you know. I've been in the trenches of online dating for a couple of years, so I definitely know. I wonder why, dude. The kind of person I'm like, eh, if nothing else, the world would be better if we were friends. So hear me out. Um, first of all, I never fucking see that shrug emoji. No one else uses it. It's typed into my phone. If I, tub- if I type shrug with two Gs, it just shows up. Same thing on my laptop. Like, I'll use it in work emails. Fuck it. Um, so right away. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. Yeah, give me a man who'll use a shrug emoji in work emails, bro. They're rare. I'm like, huh, interesting. I don't get it, though. She's cute. For how pretty she is, she should be boring. Why does she seem kind of strange and a good... For... <laughs> Yo! Okay, just digging himself a hole. For how pretty you are, for how pretty she is, she should be boring. Yeah, good one, man. That's how to get a girl sucked. Some misogyny, dude. The prettier you are the more boring you are. So to me, you're ugly. Because I'm so interested in you. That means you're ugly. Are you turned on right now or what? Good way. Um, I think you said something about live music. My job. This guy still, this guy wears, uh, I know, this guy wears suspenders for sure. I know that for a fact he wears suspenders. Um, definitely a beard that's uh, a little too long. And uh, he has a book. He he carries around a book bag for sure, uh, like a book bag. But he is not in school. That's this guy. A lot of brown. A lot of shades of brown too. He wears a lot of brown. All right. Job is actually live music. I play guitar and sing. I do about twenty five shows a month. Uh, I know it sounds made up. I feel like I invented the job. It's ridiculous, but I live very com. Dude, okay, I might rip my fucking head off, dude. I do 25 shows a month. It's redonkulous. Um. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, that's like the one surefire way to <laughs> to fucking... Uh, this guy has the opposite of Riz, I think. He has... Uh, he has hmm, Raz? Or <laughs> the Razzle Dazzle? No, he has, or jizz, maybe? I don't know. He has the opposite of it. Because if you say redonkulous, earnestly, if you earnestly say redonkulous, you're cut, I think. I think I think a, a girl is like, all right, never mind. Any chance you had? Gone. I'm tr- babe, that feels, re- oh my God. Oh my God, babe, that feels redonkulous. <laughs> <laughs> you look fucking redonkulous tonight. You look absolutely, uh, Absolutely stunning. Redonkulous, I'd say. Wow. Oh, wait, shit. Hold in the on. Of online da- in the trenches of online dating fight, the kind of person I'm like, eh, if nothing else, the world... First of all... Sorry. I never fucking see that shrug emoji. No one... Same thing on my laptop. Like, I'll use it for how pretty she is. She should be boring. Okay, here Why we are. Why she seem kind of strange in a good way? Uh, I play guitar and sing. I do about 25 shows a month. Uh, I know it sounds Sorry. made up. I feel like I invented the job. It's redonkulous, but I live very comfortably. Life is good. Um, I do play at a lot of retirement homes, and it's great for my self-esteem, Kels, as I am a big hit with women over 80. I had my ass grabbed by someone named Ethel last week, and for a second I was pissed and a little put upon, and I was like, honestly, I've been working on that. So thank you. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, but yes. Again, um, this woman does not know this man. Why are, you, why are you talking so much? It's just, oh yeah, and just the night before, I'd been talking to one of my best friends in the world, Roxy. Um, just people that like match you and they just write, hey. So if someone writes, hey, I just write, hi. And if someone writes, sup, I go, nothing much, you. And like, people that match me and clearly haven't read my fucking bio, folks will match and be like, so what do you do for a living? I'm like, uh, come on, Chelsea. Like, yeah, you're kind of cute, but I'm pretty damn sweet. Try harder. 
I don't know. It's just to see someone mention that in a bio, I'm oh like, thank God. you. I can see that you feel the same as me. Um, yeah, if people, I, I always think that effort should match interest in dating. So if you're curious if someone's interested or not, um, remember that scene with Justin Long and What's Her Face in that movie about dating? Is it he's just not that into you? And he's like, if the guy's interested, he will call. And it's true. So I found a line a couple of years ago where it's like, effort will always match interest. It will show you how interested someone is. And like, I'm pretty goddamn sweet. And I am not that lonely, bored, or horny. I'm not going to take breadcrumbs from someone if I want a sandwich. So if someone hits me with a hey or hi, you can go fuck yourself. I am worth more. Damn it. This is where the Kelly Clarkson song comes in. Um, but uh, yeah, no, your bio is just, there was so much intentional effort put in. And honestly, the more I scroll down in the pics, I'm like, this does not match up. I don't want to sound like an asshole. Like, attractive people can also be interesting and funny, but it's it's just incredibly rare. I speak uh, speak for myself, because I'd like to consider myself one of those. Uh, dude, I... I am, I am speechless, dude. I cannot believe this guy. Okay, which, wh- where am I now? One, okay. For the love of fuck, I was like two minutes. I'm, this is a long video. I'm, <laughs> what the, what are we at right now? 40, fuck. All right, this is gonna be a long episode because I need, I need to, we have to get through this. This is the entire episode and I'm sorry. I had a whole other plan for the rest of it so check out the bonus episode after this but holy shit dude two minutes into one and it was awesome and funny and i was so proud of it and then someone called me again about a gig this evening and it's like you know that thing where your friends know you're busy or you're on a date or something and then that's when they decide to call jesus christ we'll uh we'll take it as a good sign um so i don't know if i'm repeating myself but yeah no your bio was just the fucking bee's knees i mean listen top three in like the hundreds or thousands I've seen, it was just, I don't know. Is, is, this, is that like a good thing? Is it good to brag about how much you've been on online dating and it has not worked out for you? I swear, dude. Call me crazy, but I feel like if you're just a normal guy and you're like half, you know, halfway good looking, you just like have basic hygiene you know and you're like a just like a normal fucking dude finding a girlfriend is really not that hard you know it's really like and that might just be you know i've been out of the game for eight years i'm never going back but still it's like figure it out you know (laughs) Yeah, I've seen thousands and thousands of profiles, dude. All right, man. That's not a that's not as cool as you think it is. I'm a very good judge of character, and you just seem like my kind of person. And I'm not saying we're star-crossed lovers. I don't know you, and you don't know me. But um, generally, the bios hurt my brain and make me think that maybe I should just try the other sex or not talk to people anymore. And yeah, it was it was ridiculous. I, I honestly wouldn't even swipe on someone that lived in Brantford, but I meant what I said. Like, I think the world would be a better place if you and I were friends, if nothing else. So I fully accept how strange and unconventional this is. I just, I got a vibe and I figured I got to go with it. I was like in a really good mood that day. I don't know. (laughs) I'm totally winging it. But um, yeah, a lot of my close friends are women. And where do you think he is right now? Where do you think he is reading this out? To me, he's like on the edge of a skyscraper, just walking along the edge of it and like laughing to himself. And just like, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I did it. I, I, I performed 25 shows a month and they're all for elderly people. <laughs> and they love me. They do. They love me. They love me. They do. Okay. <laughs> I'm being serious. I play so many shows. I'm a star. I'm a star. <laughs> and it's like, he's like laughing to his phone saying all this shit. And there's cops fucking in the background. You see like, don't jump. Don't do it. What do you, what do you need? You have so much to live for. There's like a co- there's like a helicopter, you know. 
Holy shit. Everyone, unfortunately, has a couple stories of having to block someone's number or an ex just won't leave them alone or going to the cops. Fuck, dude, I've had to block a few numbers of crazy people that didn't know they were crazy. So sure. I really, really apologize sincerely if this in any way like triggered that or it was weird or whatever. Uh, Kelsey, that's the furthest thing from my intention. I just wanted to say howdy, and I figured if I talk like an idiot, you'd probably feel like I did after I looked at your bio. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to put myself in your shoes now. What would I want to know if I was Kelsey? Nothing! Oh. Nothing! I'm trying to put myself in your shoes. What would I want to know about me? Nothing. Nothing. If she wanted to know about you, she would have matched you and then talked to you. Right? Okay, it's not fair. You've seen mine, or sorry, I've seen yours and you have not seen mine. If you want, I will screenshot my Bumbo bio. I'm quite proud of it. I think it's pretty fucking good. It represents me well. And um, what else would I want to know if I was you? Gee, I'm like six feet tall, uh, <coughs> pretty damn handsome. I'd give me like a seven. No, like a seven and a half out of ten looks wise. I mean, to my knowledge, no one has dated me for my abs or my hair. I'm guessing it's because I'm funny and honest and clearly very humble and go to therapy and emotionally intelligent. Cat. But, um, yeah, you know, I'd say seven and a half, maybe even an eight. I'm feeling really fucking good lately. I got a tan. I'm up to like 80 second side planks. I hate them, but they're totally worth it for the core. What? What are you talking about? Man, what are you talking about, dude? Gun to my head, I wouldn't be able to say this many things about me. And he's just fucking, he's going for 10 minutes, dude. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe this. This might be the craziest fucking shit I've ever heard in my life, dude. Oh, my God. And um, big feet. So you know what that means, baby doll. Big socks. <laughs> um, what else? I'm looking for the fucking sound. That's not it. <laughs> Where's the fucking thing? Ew. That's what I wanted, dude. Oh, wow. That, I'm like, I'm nauseous now, dude. I feel like I didn't tell you enough about the bio, too. That shrug emoji was just, if nothing else, the fact that, like, you look like a Disney princess and you use that, I'm like, fuck it, I gotta talk to her. Okay, dude, it's an emoji, dude. A shrug emoji. It's a very popular emoji. All it takes is that one emoji, and he's like, we're soulmates, dude. We're soulmates. No one ever uses that emoji. So, um... Oh, I was definitely getting strong Kirsten Bell vibes, too, and she's awesome. I don't know if you listen to her husband's podcast, Armchair Expert, with Dax Shepard. It's quite the reference, but I have a feeling you might know what that is. One of my favorite episodes, actually. Quite the reference. That is one of the most popular podcasts in the world, dude. Yeah, I don't know if you listen to that super, uh, the well, one of the top 10 podcasts in the world, hosted by a, a, an A-list celebrity, but yeah, uh, I don't know, sort of a deep cut, if you will. Actually, um, is it Lauren? I love Joe Rogan. You ever heard of that one? I love that guy. Graham that plays Lorelai. She was on there. Anyway, I am um, all over the fucking place, as is my, my job. Uh, but I'm sitting here, a middle-aged guy in his car with the AC on and a SpongeBob shirt. And I would call this like the technological version of, you know, when like Noah stops Allie in the notebook and he's like, I just, I had to talk to you when I see something I want. So he's middle-aged and he's wearing a SpongeBob shirt. That tells me everything that I need to know, I think. <laughs> yes. Because... SpongeBob came out in what the late nineties, early two thousands, and like I grew up with SpongeBob, and I'm thirty now. So being middle aged, like four, like ten years older than me. And you're wearing a sponge that's weird. That is weird. That's a red flag. Made a notebook reference. I don't know. I'm I'm being a total idiot right now. So if nothing else, I figured you'd have a laugh and a smile and you can fucking make fun of me to your friends. I don't know. Now you have a solo podcast for a guy that makes like six grand a month on a microphone being an idiot. 
I'm sorry, I don't normally bring up money, but I feel like I created my job out of thin air and like I just submitted my 2022 taxes and shit's been getting so much better the last few years. So I'm quite proud of it. That wasn't me trying to uh, impress you though with money. I've got way more impressive shit than that. Uh, it just slipped out. I hope we can still be friends. Anyway, um... Wait, yeah. does he say, did he say he makes six grand a month? Is that what he just said? I hope we can still be... I've got way more impressive... So I'm quite... 22 times. I'm sorry, I don't normally bring up money, but I, I figured you'd have a laugh and a smile and you can fucking make fun of me to your friends. I don't know. Now you have a solo podcast for a guy that makes like six grand a month on a microphone being an idiot. I'm sorry, I don't normally bring up money, but I feel like I created my job out of thin air and like I just submitted my 2022 taxes okay, and he made six grand so a month the last few years so i'm quite proud of his that job wasn't okay. me trying to uh, impress you though with money i've got way more impressive shit than that uh, just <laughs> slipped out. that kind of slipped out i don't know how i said oh, that still be friends anyway um yeah i'm all over the place but uh you look like a goddamn disney princess the bio completely floored me i felt like it was written by yeah, that shrug friend. emoji really fucking floored me dude Came immediately as soon as I saw it, dude. Thing I just got like strong, like fellow nerd, divergent, super cool, um, gregarious, happy person vibes, and uh, yeah. So listen, I'm an open book. You probably figured that out like six over <laughs> No shit. Hey, I make six grand a month, and I think you're also neurodivergent. Do you want to date me? What the hell, man? To go if you have. <laughs> what the fuck? He's hit everything you should not do. Any questions for me? Please hit me. Don't be shy. Uh, if you want, I'll share my bio. I feel like it's unfair that, you know, I've seen yours and you haven't seen mine. I'm quite Dude, I'm actually, I cannot believe it. Okay, this is the last one. Um, yeah, for the 80th time, I apologize if this was weird uh, or, like, gave you any bad vibes. That's not my intention. Um, yeah, I got to drive home now because I got to go sing at a bar and I have four more gigs this weekend and it hurts to talk. So, oh my god <laughs> i'm sitting here in my car like a jackass and uh yeah i hope that all made some kind of sense and if nothing else please take the sincere compliment i've seen hundreds of shitty bios probably thousands and yours was easily top three the only reason i'm not giving you number one is because then it would seem like i'm lying but i'm a very genuine honest person and uh yeah actually on my way home i'm gonna go to the park and feed the ducks my favorite swan couple mr plump and mr Pl and mrs plumfett the i Dude, I'm, <coughs> I'm, I'm at a loss for words right now, dude. There's no way this is fucking real. There's no way that dudes like this exist. Holy shit. We just had babies a couple weeks ago. So like I'll run up and they recognize me and the babies are squeaking. The hierarchy of like waterfowl cute babies, it goes swan babies, then ducklings, and then goslings. But, um, yes, I may or may not do that four to seven times a week. I'm a huge animal lover. Dogs are better than cats. Cats suck. Sorry if you have cats, but I'm sure you're... Cat I'm an animal lover. Cats suck. Okay, man. <laughs> I don't know if that's, a, that's the most contradictory thing ever, actually. Yeah, I'm a people person. I fucking hate everybody. It's awesome. That is cool. And, uh, yeah, take the compliment. Anyway... Uh, apologies if this totally like, intruded on your day opposite of my intention and uh, yeah your bio was fucking awesome I mean there's a couple other assets I noticed too but I cannot mention them without sounding like a fuck boy so I'm just gonna leave it alone I'm sure you've worked very hard to be in the shape you're in but god damn lady god damn I would not kick you out of bed for eating crackers so I figured if you are half as funny as you seem to be and what the fuck does that mean half as cool as I got from that bio I would say howdy um, yeah. All right. Hope this made you laugh and smile and, uh, you have a fantastic old day, Kelsey. Cheers. So to that, so I guess he responded cause I guess she played all the messages and he was like, ha, curiosity got the better of you. And she said, dude, so you saw me on Bumble and found me on Facebook. How? <clears throat> and he said, oh, I honestly just typed in Kelsey, and I guess I got lucky. I figured because you put live music, we might have friends in common or something. I blame Zuckerberg, and that's it. Dude. Okay, so then she put her Bumble profile. Let's see. Uh, about me. Give me a completed profile. I'll give you more than hey. Likes, iced coffee, weightlifting, reading, bonfires, traveling, hiking, festivals, live music, cooking. You know, things that just normal shit that people like, you know? Dislikes, extreme cold, joy killers, bigots, mosquitoes, slow walkers, dead animal photos, improperly loaded dishwashers, 
okay. Like a pretty normal profile, right? Like, I don't know. Where's the shrug emoji, dude? He went on and on about the fucking shrug emoji. It's nowhere to be seen. Dude, update. This is not the first time he has done this. He pulled the same thing in summer 2021. Dude, he's just sending weird messages, dude. The same guy messaged me. Summer, okay, I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this out loud, dude. Uh, So this was summer 2021, and I was on a dating app that was not linked to my social media, and he found me on Facebook. After I replied, I am not interested. He unsent all the voice memos, but it was about six, all over two to three minutes each. He said a lot of the same creepy stuff, like the big feet line, as well as my mom wrote your profile. And he said the same misogynistic backhanded compliments, like something about how pretty girls can't have personalities. And also the way he talked about his gigs, like he was Sean freaking Mendez selling out the Rogers Center. Uh, holy shit. He just sent the same thing to people. That's insane, dude. Okay, wow. Uh, <clears throat> that went on for so much. I had like three other topics I wanted to talk about, but that took up a lot of time. Um. Holy shit. Uh I don't even know what I don't even know where to fucking go from there, dude. Um that was like a uh, that was a prime example on what not to do. If anything, if anything that's what you can take from it, okay? Uh don't do any of that shit that guy did. But hey, we 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 got what he wanted. We all had a nice laugh, right? Uh <clears throat> uh Okay, I guess I'll wrap it up. Fuck, man. Well, thank you so much for listening, guys. I uh, appreciate it. Um, uh, yeah, like the video, comment, all that stuff. I mean, this is going to be a wild fucking um, little segue here, but um, just some uh, just some personal stuff I want to talk about before we wrap this up. Um, I didn't want to do it off top because I, it was going to fucking uh, put the put the vibes off for the whole episode, and I didn't I didn't want that. Um, but, uh, I didn't, I didn't upload a podcast last week. Um, uh, because my, um, my stepdad passed away, um, two, two weeks ago, almost, almost two weeks ago. Uh, yeah, it wasn't. The last Tuesday, it was the Tuesday prior. Um, so that's been a lot to sort of uh, navigate because I, I, I've i mentioned, I don't really talk too much about my, you know, personal life too much on the internet. Um, I like just giving base level stuff, um, but... Uh, yeah, my, I was very close with my stepdad. He was like my dad pretty much. Um, he's, I don't have a memory, like any memory, the furthest I can go back to my memory, uh, Lawrence, my stepdad, he was there. So, um, it's, it's been tough, man. It's been really hard. Um, but I mean, some of you guys know this, I posted on my Instagram about it and, um. I've got a lot of nice comments uh, from people, so a lot, a lot of love sent our way. So thank you for that. If you if you if you did that, um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, it's just been a lot, man. It's been really hard. Try not to try really hard to like not. Trying hard not to just fucking cry. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Ah, that's like a, it cured me. <clears throat> it's hard, it's tough to cry when you hear stuff like that, you know? Um, <laughs> but no, man, it's, it, I don't even, I don't know what I really wanted to say. <clears throat> I just, uh, mm. 
I was like driving on my way over here. I was like, you know what? It's fine. You're just going to talk about it. You're not going to cry. Just get it all out now. And it won't even, you know, cause you'll be, you know, but obviously that's not going to happen. Uh, God, I feel like that fucking dude in the things. He's just talking. Uh, fuck man. I don't know, dude. I, today's father's day and it, I should just end the episode, dude. I don't know. <clears throat> All I'm going to say is uh, if you have a father figure, his camera died. <clears throat> his camera died. Sorry. Uh, I'll have a look at this one. Um, God, everything's dying on me. Okay. Uh, if you have, if you have a father figure in your life and you love them, uh, cause I'm not trying to be like, if, even if you don't have a good relationship with your dad, still give him a hug. Fuck that shit. Uh, if you have a good dad in your life and you love him and he's, uh, and he's still there. Dap them up, bro. Dap them up. All right? <laughs> this is the weirdest... <laughs> this is the weirdest podcast episode of all time. <clears throat> I don't know. I guess... Sabrina, have fun editing this one, dude. What the fuck, man? Um, all right. I'm going to end it. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for listening. I hope it was fun. I hope this wasn't a fucking buzzkill. Um, but yeah, just do me. Yeah, I need my I need my fucking sound effects. All right. <laughs> okay. Just do me a favor. Fucking have a have a fucking nice Coca-Cola and a big bowl of popcorn, okay? Have that tonight in honor of Lawrence. And uh yeah, just keep it uh keep being redonkulous everybody. Sorry for fucking crying on here with the help. Um but give me a give me a fucking break, dude. All right. Cheers, everybody. Love you. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you over on the bonus episode. Jesus Christ. See ya. Hey. <laughs>